so really quick, uh, five minutes, right? Um, so I will tell you about Highly Available Dot Manager, which is sort of like my work in progress kind of thing right now. Um, I'm working for us on Prometheus sometimes, and the current state of the Alert Manager is that you have all these Prometheus servers which are pushing alerts to the Alert Manager. So this essentially means that the Alert Manager is the most critical component of your entire setup. It's just that it's one single node, and this can sort of die, and there's no real story right now to sort of work around that. So what you want is you want smart alert, alert managers, right? And you want all these Prometheus servers to just push the alerts and basically have all these different alert managers sort of make everything works and work, and if one fails, the other, one, other ones will handle it. So what you don't want is this one, and this is basically what everybody comes up with if, they, if we talk about basically making HA alert manager on IRC. And um, it basically proposes, okay, everybody's using Raft, and Raft is doing CP, so this must be great, right? The only thing is that Raft is a CP algorithm, and it works based on consensus. Uh, consensus, and you can only do something basically if you have consensus. Uh, so if you have a partition here, you can do all the things you want here, but here you can't basically do anything. And then you start coming up with, okay, uh, maybe you can just like if we don't have consensus here, we just like uh, alone we can work around this some in some way. But then you're talking about AP actually. You don't want CP in this case. Um, and AP is sort of this. Right? We have just several alert managers and they sort of all work independently as good as they can. Um, and if they can see the others, it's good. If not, well, still not the end of the world. Um, and this sort of usually means eventual consistency. So if you do write or do you, if you take an action on one alert manager, it will not immediately be visible everywhere just after some time, which might be a few milliseconds or maybe a few minutes, depending on the current situation of the network. Um, and this would sort of work like this. So if you want to create a silence now, you basically do this in the interface of one alert manager, and as soon as it's done, this silence becomes visible in this alert manager immediately. And then it sort of propagates as fast as it can um, through the rest of the basically network of alert managers. Um, and pretty much the same applies to um, sending out notifications. Uh, so let's say I want to page someone, right? Um, I don't want all of these alert managers to send out pages. Because pages, for example, deduplicates it for you, but for example, if you send out emails, you will just get five emails in this case, and you don't want that. Um, so what we do is we basically log that you have notified a certain receiver about basically a set of alerts. Um, and then we propagate the information, just like silences, across the entire network. Um, so how can we actually ensure that we only send one notification? Um, because this basically requires us to basically communicate or orchestrate uh, who gets to send stuff now, right? Because otherwise, all the different alert managers would basically attempt at the same time to send notification. Um, and this whole oops, log thing here wouldn't really help. So what you want to do is, you don't really want this basically being the critical code pass, right? From the point where you get alerts to the point where you send notifications, you don't want to avoid at all costs basically to have any um, intercommunication going on because this is always the point where things can break and this is what you want to avoid. So what we actually do is, um, at every point in time, even if we can't talk to certain other alert managers directly, we sort of have this state or a state of the entire network of alert managers um, and thereby we can say, okay, um, this is me and this is a list of my peers. And if I sort this list by name or IP or whatever, um, where am I? And for example, in the case of A here, there's a slide missing. Um, I can basically just figure out my position and then just wait a bit. Um, and by waiting, I just give the alert manager who sees itself as the first in the list some time to set a notification and for the notification log to propagate to the network. Um, and then basically, at the time I try to send, I can say, okay, I got this log already and I see the receiver was notified and I don't have to do it anymore. So this is basically how this whole thing works, right? We're using this um, great weave mesh library by Peter, wherever he is, um, to basically build this mesh, which via gossip distributes its state. Um, and we just, via eventual consistency, distribute all our data, but every alert manager from receiving alerts to sending out notifications basically works completely independently without ever talking directly to this mesh network. So this is sort of the short version of it. Uh, and tomorrow, that will be the general talk on alerting. 
So basically this sort of part will not be in there, um, but more of the why and how do we do a learning. Thanks.